It was a beautiful morning down in Bikini Bottom. So SpongeBob decided to go jellyfishing. When all of a sudden, a crate floated down from the surface. I wonder what's inside it, he thought. So he put down his net and dragged the crate over to Squidward. Hey Squidward, look what I found! Do you want to help me open it? asked Spongebob. Can't you see I'm busy relaxing? Go bother Patrick instead, he replied. Good idea, said Spongebob, and he went over to Patrick's house. Patrick, I found a mysterious crate. Do you want to open it with me? I'd love to, he replied. So they walked over to it and cracked it open. A popcorn machine, yelled Spongebob excitedly. Oh boy, said Patrick, can I have it? Of course, said Spongebob, and he handed it over. They took the next item out of the crate. Underpants, and they're just my size, exclaimed Spongebob. Patrick then stuck his hand in again. Hey Spongebob, what's better than finding one pair of underpants? What? Finding two pairs of underpants! Oh boy, said Spongebob, and he took both pairs and placed them down. He turned to Squidward. Are you sure you don't want to help us look through this crate? He asked. Spongebob, I don't want any of your rubbish. Please leave me alone. OK, you're lost. And he went back to the crate. There's only one thing left, said Spongebob. What is it? asked Patrick. It's a painting. Squidward's eyes shot open and he rushed over. A, 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 a painting? asked Squidward. As soon as he saw it, he loved it. It's beautiful, he said. You can have it, Squidward, said Spongebob. So he took it and went inside to hang it on the wall. He hung it next to his front door so he could look at it every day. One day, a very exciting thing happened to SpongeBob and Patrick. They were on SpongeBob's pirate ship, pretending to be pirates, when SpongeBob saw something fluttering in the wind. He caught it and looked at it. Patrick, he cried, you won't believe what I've just found. What is it? asked Patrick. It's a treasure map, he shouted excitedly. Wow, cried Patrick. What does it say? SpongeBob read the first line on the map. Something old, something blue. Find this for the first clue. Blue, said Patrick, thinking out loud. Is it the sea that's blue? No, answered Spongebob, but it could be the sails. They both looked up. I can see it, cried Spongebob. It's on the deck, of course, that's blue. He pulled the egg over and they began to open it. Inside the egg, was Woody and the next clue. What does the next clue say? asked Patrick. So Spongebob read it out. Look for a pineapple under the sea. 
That's where the second clue will be. Ooh, that's hard, sighed Patrick. It's my house, silly, answered SpongeBob. Come on, we need to jump in the water. And so they both jumped into the sea. Down on the seabed, they quickly arrived at SpongeBob's house. I can't see anything here, he said puzzled. Maybe it's inside, suggested Patrick. So SpongeBob opened the door. A SpongeBob egg, cried Patrick. Quick, let's open it. And so they did. It's a mini me, smiled SpongeBob. What a cute little fella. Is there another clue? asked Patrick. Yes, replied SpongeBob. It says, the clue you seek is to be found under a rock on the ground. There are some rocks near my house, suggested Patrick. Great idea, answered SpongeBob. And so they made their way to Patrick's house. There were two large rocks nearby. Patrick lifted the first one. Anything there? he asked. No, replied Spongebob. I'll try the other one. And he lifted the second heavy rock up. But there was nothing under that one either. Now we're stuck, said Spongebob sadly. Wait a minute. You live under a rock, Patrick. It could be there. So Patrick went over to his rock and lifted it. Sure enough, a surprise was waiting for them. It was a Mickey Mouse egg. Let's open it, cried Spongebob. Inside was Donald Duck and the fourth clue. I'll read out the next clue, said Spongebob. It says, look for a face under the sea. That's where the fourth clue will be. Hmm, that's the hardest clue yet, sighed Patrick. A face under the sea? I have no idea. They started to wander along the seabed. They soon came across Squidward. What have you got there, he asked. Don't tell him, Patrick, or he'll want the treasure all to himself, cried Spongebob. Treasure? Squidward's eyes lit up. I think we'll have to tell him, sighed Patrick. We're stuck. So Spongebob read out the clue. I can't believe you haven't worked that one out, he cried. Just look behind you. So Spongebob and Patrick turned round and stared at Squidward's house. Of course, cried Spongebob. I can see the face. But where is it? asked Spongebob. It must be in the house, answered Patrick, and he opened the door. It's a kinder surprise egg, he cried. And they began to open it. Inside was Optimus Prime, and the last clue. Spongebob read it out. The final clue you can keep. A Krabby Patty's what you see. The Krusty Krab, they both shouted, and off they went. But somebody had already beaten them to it. Squidward and Sandy are here, cried Spongebob. Oh dear, replied Patrick. I can see the treasure chest, but Mr. Krabs is standing right in front of it. Mr. Krabs opened the doors. Is this dirty old chest yours? he asked. Yes, answered Spongebob quietly. Then you can have it back. It's cluttering up my restaurant, he shouted, and pushed the chest out towards them. 
Woohoo! said SpongeBob to Patrick. I thought he was going to keep the treasure for himself. Let's open it, suggested Patrick. So they did. Inside the chest was a black capsule. It's going to be a rare surprise toy, said Patrick excitedly. And they opened the capsule. Inside was a Star Wars Stormtrooper. Wow, they both said together. The best treasure ever.
loved his new music player he got for Christmas. He was always dancing to his very loud music. George, would you please turn down the music? It's giving me a headache, shouted Mummy Pig. OK, sure, said George as he carried on dancing. It wasn't just Mummy Pig that was getting annoyed with the music, but everyone in the village. His music was so loud he couldn't hear the angry crowd outside his house. They even knocked on his door, but he still couldn't hear them. Right, something needs to be done, said Queen Elsa. He needs to learn a lesson. Let's call in the superheroes, they'll know what to do. Soon, the superheroes arrived at the house. We have a plan, they said. How about we move his house to teach him a lesson? So Iron Man got ready to lift the house. What's happening? cried a panicking George, quickly turning off his music. And soon, the house was sinking underwater. Then all of a sudden, Iron Man appeared. George, do you know why we have done this? It's because everyone in the village is annoyed with your loud music. So we moved your house away. Just because you like your music loud doesn't mean everyone else likes it. Do you understand? I do, I do, I do. I will never play music loud again, said George. George, it's all right to play loud music, but only for a short time, otherwise people will get annoyed. Have you learnt your lesson? Yes, I have. That's good, said Iron Man. And with that, the house was moved back to the village and everything returned to the way it used to be.
OK, Gary, let's watch some TV, said Spongebob. Oh no! What's happening, Gary? The, the characters are coming out of the screen! OK, I'll put some food in your bowl and hope the fake Gary comes out to eat it. Gotcha! It worked, Gary, it worked! Let's go and find out who's underneath the Play-Doh. I hope the others haven't gone far. I'm sorry, is there a problem over here? Asked Mr. Krabs. Yeah, there is. This Krabby Patty is horrible. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll have a word with the chef. SpongeBob? SpongeBob, these Krabby Patties taste awful. It's like you've never made one before. Get your act together, boy. Bye, Gary. I'm off to work. SpongeBob, for goodness sake, stop mucking around and get back in the kitchen. But, but Mr. Krabs, I've, I've just got here. Be quiet, boy, and continue cooking. <gasps> it's you. I've got you now. Come with me. Leave this to me.
It was a beautiful morning in Bikini Bottom, and the Krusty Krab restaurant was as usual extremely busy. Plankton was not, however, in a very good mood. His restaurant, the Chum Bucket, wasn't very busy, and this made Plankton very, very annoyed. If only I could get hold of the secret ingredient in SpongeBob's Krabby Patty, then my restaurant would be more successful, he thought. Ah. Here comes Patrick. If I'm clever, I can find out what the secret ingredient is. So when Patrick passed by, Plankton called out to him. Hey Patrick, do you know what the secret ingredient in SpongeBob's Krabby Patty is? He asked. You can't catch me out, smiled Patrick. I'm certainly not going to tell you that it's in a bottle on the top shelf of the kitchen. Oh, whoops, did I say too much? No. It's fine, he thought, and went on his way. Brilliant, thought Plankton. All I have to do is to sneak into the kitchen and steal the bottle that is on the top shelf of the kitchen. Now to find a disguise, and off he went feeling very pleased with himself. What Plankton didn't realise was that Sandy was hiding behind some weed and had heard the entire conversation. He won't get away with that, she thought. I must go and warn SpongeBob. So she quickly went into the Krusty Krab. Once Sandy was in the kitchen, she told Spongebob all about Plankton's evil plan to steal the secret ingredient. Don't worry Sandy, Spongebob reassured her, I have a plan. And so relieved, Sandy sat down and ordered a crusty patty and some fries. It wasn't long before a very strange object began scuttling towards the Krusty Krab. It was Plankton, disguised as a Krabby Patty. No one will suspect a thing, he thought. This disguise is brilliant. And he went into the restaurant and hid in the corner. Slowly, Plankton started to make his way over to the kitchen. Suddenly, Patrick saw something move out of the corner of his eye. What was that? He said. Oh, it's just a Krabby Patty. He chuckled. Did I just see something move? Questioned Sandy. She too turned around. No, it's just a Krabby Patty. Smiled Patrick to Sandy. Oh, OK, said Sandy. This is just too easy, Plankton chuckled to himself as he entered the kitchen. Spongebob was busy frying patties. But he also turned around when he thought he saw something move behind him. No, it's just a crabby patty, he said and carried on frying. Plankton could see the bottle on the shelf and he quickly took it and hastily made his way out of the restaurant. Success! he shouted. Now to remove my disguise and make my very own Krabby Patty with a secret ingredient added. With the bottle ready, Plankton poured some sauce onto the patty. He then took a big bite. Ah! he shouted. My mouth is on fire! I've been tricked! This isn't the secret ingredient! And he quickly ran off to cool his mouth down. Behind some weed, they could be heard chuckling, and SpongeBob, Sandy, and Patrick appeared looking very amused. 
That was a brilliant plan, substituting the secret ingredient for extra hot chilli sauce, smiled Sandy. Thanks, cried SpongeBob. I don't think...